Hello and welcome back to another video. I am so glad you guys are here. We are jumping right in. In my downstairs, we are trying to restore organization and order from the chaos of hosting a party. If you missed last week's video, I hosted an engagement party at my house and this is the aftermath. We are just trying to get things back in order in the downstairs of my home. It was also my birthday on this day, so I just really, for my own sanity, wanted things put away, cleaned up, tidied up, and just kind of back in order to just kind of enjoy my weekend and my day on my birthday. So that is what we are doing here. As I am doing this voiceover, it is spring break here in Arkansas where I am at. And so I am doing my best to do this voiceover with all three kiddos home. I have had to move several locations and <laughs> put them on their iPads so mommy can get this done. But I am trying to do the best I can. I originally had some bathroom cleaning and this video was much longer. But I had to cut some things out in order to make this work for being on spring break and everything with my kids home. So we are just mom life in it here and doing the absolute best we can. It's just real life and I know so many of you guys can relate to you know, you have the best laid plans, but most of the time you don't even come close to getting them done. So I am coming in with my Mrs. Myers in the lemon. I, I'm not sure what this scent is exactly. I showed it on the screen. Really am liking that. It is definitely a strong scent. So I'm cleaning everything off with that. Then I'm coming back in with my favorite method granite cleaner and then putting everything back the way it was. All my picture frames up, the kids art supplies, just restoring it back to its normal order that it gets used in and then we are getting this bar cleared off. I had so many flowers from the party. I had flowers delivered for my birthday. We were just busting with flowers, but um, I, I was here for it. I was loving it. So then now I'm getting everything else cleaned out, getting the dishwasher filled up and getting it started and just kind of getting things back in order. So let's work on this together, friends, and let's get our houses back in shape heading into the weekend. <laughs> Some kind of magic you came into my life, and with that bed, you give me falling twice. Yeah, you're an angel and always on my mind. I want to love you like I do.
okay, tell me I'm not the only one who does this. <laughs> I am notorious for soaking my shirts when I am hand washing dishes. So I was just showing you guys, I, I mean, I literally soaked this thing. You will see me here later on where I end up, it's driving me nuts and I have to go change shirts. <laughs> but um, I just, I, I don't know what it is about dishwashing by hand, but I tend to soak my shirts. I am being summoned, so I will be back in a second. Okay, real life, stop and go, stop and go. I was putting some of these plates back in a tote for my mom, cause they are coming over and me and my husband are gonna go on a date night and these go back to my mom. So I was trying to get them ready and I have to go hop in the shower. It's kind of as far as I got, <laughs> it's better than it was, but we've still got, there is a load of dishes in the dishwasher, which I think have some more of those plates of my mom's. All of this is clean. This goes back to my mom. These are mine and they just, a lot of this needs to just be put away. And I was gonna do the floors and so much more, but again, real life. So this is gonna, I'm gonna put a pin on this and I'm gonna go get ready to go to dinner with my husband. We will pick this up tomorrow. different star flying over streets and our broken hearts but they can even touch us we found a different beat paradise is waiting and we bought the lead oh getting caught in the mist is a man that they'll never get out of they're feeding the fears and the doubt oh but we go and we run to the end and we run without shame
I'm going to be real honest with you guys. I am going to let you enjoy a lot more music this week and not as much chatting about products and, you know, what I'm doing and all of the things. I just let you enjoy and you can see what I'm doing. Y'all know my favorite products. I'm using my Tinco iFloor 2 here. Don't know how I did life without it, but I cannot do the voiceover that I want to do with all of my kids home. I keep getting interrupted and having to stop and start and stop and start. And I'm on a time crunch because we're getting ready to go do something fun and leave. And I have got to get this all done. I have my two-year-old literally creeping up behind me right now. So I am just going to let you guys try to enjoy more music than normal. And we are going to try to knock this out. But this is just real life. And I wanted to share it with you guys. The YouTube journey is not near as easy as I thought it was going to be. Hold on, Dallas. Okay, hold on. I thought YouTube was so much easier than it is. It is not. Editing, voiceover, uploading it, doing all the back end stuff. It is a long, drawn out process and it is just not easy. So there you have it. <laughs> but we are getting these floors back in shape and it felt so good to have kind of my downstairs reset and back in shape. It took me about a day and a half to get it all done, but we get it done and we're going to move up into my kiddos rooms and mess with some of their clothes and things next. Hello, I am starting today and I'm just going to work a little bit in my kids rooms and what I'm getting ready to do, the growing kids sale that I was tagging some clothes for, I spoke briefly about it, it is this week and so I need to get in my kids rooms and kind of see what they need for the upcoming spring summer season so that I know what to look for at the growing kids sale. So I'm going to go through each of my kids closets real quick kind of just get a gauge of what I need. I know my daughter, I'm going to take her with me this year, so that'll be a big help, but I need to still kind of get in her closet and see for myself what she needs. Then I'm going to go to my boys' rooms. I'm dreading going in my middle child's room. I think y'all, if you've been here anytime, know the struggle in his room, and it is a hot mess. So I am dreading going in there, but I'm going to start in my daughter's room because it's the easiest. It's a little in disarray, but I'm going to just kind of go through each little section, just look at clothes, see what I think she needs, and then move on to my baby's room, and then we'll go to my middle son's room last. <laughs>
there's a handful of things I have to have her go through with me, but I'm just kind of going off what I remember. So that was pajamas. And then I did kind of the shorts, some of these shorts I need to have her try on before I weed them out. And then I'm just putting them in this little, I always have a bin or a basket or something that I weed two small clothes into. And so that's what I'm doing. So now I'm just going to go over to her tops and then we will be done in her closet. And as I'm doing this, I'm also shifting season. So all the stuff that's like for cold and fall, I'm going to shift it up and bring her t-shirts and warmer weather clothes down. These are things I weeded out that I know are too small or will be next season like she won't be able to wear them any longer and then that pulled down her shorts she needs to try those on I think a lot of them are too small I think her biggest thing is pants and bottoms and then this was a few um, fall like skirts that she never wore so we may want to weed those out too this is a couple of summer things she's just not ready to pull out yet and then I just shifted fall right here and then I left a handful of long sleeves down, play dresses, church dresses, and then her t-shirts. And that is kind of it. And this is her too small pile. And then I'm going to have her go through these shirts and decide what, sh what fits and doesn't. Got her a new um, St. Patrick's Day shirt, but it needs to be washed. So moving to the next room. Okay, so fun little fact. I, I usually leave these up. I was going to take it down in a couple of days, but someone locally has reached out and wanted, they saw a picture of it from, you know, social media and stuff and they need it for a function and it's the right colors and they're wanting to take it off my hands and buy it from me. So I'm going to go ahead and try and get this balloon arched down a little bit earlier than I was planning on it. And, um, if they're going to come and get it, then I'm going to try and see if I can figure out how to put it in bags or how they can transport it. So I'm taking this down. I'm taking a break from the closet because I just got a text about this and see if I can get this down and how they would be able to transport it. And if it's even possible, it may, if it's not really, I've never transported a balloon arch. So this is kind of funny, but um, I'm going to take it down and see if I can figure out a way to haul it um, to see if they want to come pick it up.
my youngest room. I'm going to try and pull out all the winter, fall stuff, move in spring and summer, and all the hand-me-downs that are over. I may have moved a lot of them over, actually. <laughs> I think I did. But I, I may have already moved this, so I'm just going to pull out a couple of things. And anything that's too small, I will put down here. And that's kind of about it for him. So I'm going to see what all he may need for the growing kids sale as well. Anything that's kind of like in the interim where it's still chilly and stuff, I'm not pulling all of this out yet, but like the, any heavy sweaters, vests, anything I know he won't wear for sure. You kind of keep that stuff, you know, it can be winter in the mornings and summer in the afternoons. So trying to keep still some things he can use. I'll do the same thing with him. If there's anything I think he might be able to wear in the fall, possibly, if there's any chance, I will hang it over here just to hold on to, just in case. Like if these things were a little bit bigger, which they were, I'll put them over here just in case he can still wear them in the fall. This is some of the 4T like spring summer type stuff that he might grow into. So I went ahead and pulled it out of his um, tote, the hand-me-down tote. The rest of the stuff I left in the hand-me-down tote was more fall stuff. So he's not in 4T yet, but I feel like he's close. So and then, see like that? I'm going to get rid of that. It's falling apart. I am making notes, swimsuits are something that Dallas will definitely need. All right, I've got out my bunnies. These are my, this is my main spring decor. I don't have a lot at all. And then some of the vases and things left over from the party. The flowers are slowly dying. These are just about to die my hydrangeas, but there's some that are holding on, so I'm just kind of <laughs> leaving it for the moment. But then this vase will need to go somewhere too. So I'm gonna disperse some of my bunnies and kind of rearrange some things. I think I want to move this little ginger jar. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab it. I'm gonna move it. I'm kind of rearranging some things. I thought maybe the plate looks lonely up here. So I may put this ginger jar up here. I'll do that in a second. I'm gonna disperse some of my bunnies first. I think maybe a bunny right here might be cute. Maybe I do my little, my little bunny family. These are so cute. I got these at the Dollar Tree. I think they were $3. But this year, I got them at the Dollar Tree. I know I'm getting my spring Easter stuff out a little late this year after the party. But I'm going to put something back there, too. I'm going to go maybe darker. A darker vase, since the other big tall vase is lighter. what I can do one-handed and then I'll have to okay, put my 
Which way he looks like. We think, or I could move him up top. Can't, I don't love this plate. I mean, I do, but I don't know that it's it was good for the party. But I might would a I don't know. It's a good big piece. What would a smaller plate look like up there? I contemplated, you know, with, with my blues. I have this. Let me put this bunny my window. About that plate up there does it need to be that bigger plate or something else should the bunny go up there I haven't had anything down here because of Dallas but he might leave that alone let me try swapping it down there either. <laughs> you guys will have to let me know in the comments below what you're like and I may just leave that empty for now. That's how I've kind of been leaving it. Thank y'all so much for being here today and watching my video. If you haven't already and you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. And if you're new, subscribe. I would love to have you join our YouTube family. And I hope you're leaving today with some inspiration to clean your house. Maybe throw out that spring decor real fast, kind of like I did. And then I will see you guys right here again next week. And until then, guys, take care.